last video. Actually, I got four, uh, as you can see. Uh, before then, there were slots, keepers. I only kept one. That's basically, that's all I needed one. Uh, there was a good one. I'm going to clean and gut it, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. All right, after, after cleaning the fish and gutting the fish, this is what I have. Uh, I got good size fillets. Uh, but this is not what I'm going to work on with uh, today. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook with this. And what I'm going to do is, uh, what I'm going to do is fish soup. For those that like soup, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do today. Some people might use this to make fish broth, fish stock. Um, and you cook it, you cook this for like maybe uh, 20, 30 minutes, let it cook, and you can make a nice uh, amount of fish stock, and which you can use later for cooking. Acabo de limpiar el pescado y esto es lo que tengo. Esto es lo, con esto fue lo que me quedé, unos filetes de pescado. Aquí pueden ver, esto no lo voy a usar hoy, esto es para otro día. Pero, voy a usar esto. Y muchos de ustedes saben para qué es esto. Esto es para una sopa, voy a hacer una sopa de pescado. A mi estilo, a mi manera. Ah, espero les guste. Y esto es lo que voy a usar. Esto tiene mucha carne. As you can see, I already had the fish in the pot. I put three liters of water. Um, I like a lot of broth. And I'm gonna let it boil. Once it starts boiling, then I'm gonna cover it for 15, 10 to 15 minutes. And while it's cooking there for 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna add this right here. So you, um, I mentioned this on the first video. This has a lot of seasoning. It gives a lot of flavor to the food. And this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put a little bit, and later on I'm gonna add the vegetables. I'm gonna uh, maybe add a little bit more. <clears throat> so basically, you add this to your taste. Remember, this has salt. But then again, you can add uh, any ingredients you want. Uh, whatever flavor you like, you can add. And this is the way I do mine. So I just I just add a little bit of the uh, adobo. I'm gonna let it boil, and then I'm gonna cover it for 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, the water starting to uh, heat up, and um, it's uh, it, it's gonna start boiling pretty soon. But as you can see, there's some stuff that the fish is. Uh, is given away when he when when he when he starts boiling. I like to take this out. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like it. Um, this happened with beef, chicken. Uh, every time you boil it, boil them. This is what happened. Um, so I like to take this out. I don't like it. And as you take it out, it's going to give up more. And you just keep taking it out until the water is clear. Is clean. already smelling like fish soup and it's not even halfway yet many of you might be asking why not use the fillet uh, if I have plenty of meat there well yeah I can do that but there's nothing better than using the bone the head of the fish to make soup it gives it a lot of flavor if you use the fillet you will you, you will not get that much flavor from the fish. The fish head, the bones, that's where the flavor is for fish soup. That's why I use this. And if I don't, if I'm not making soup, I would just uh, make fish broth, it's fish stock. In case I'm making a fish dish and I need to make some sauce, then I can use the fish stock for it. I don't have to go to the store and buy it because it's very hard to find them. The water is pretty clear, as you can see. Uh, I've taken everything that, was, that came up to the surface, I take, I take it out, I don't like it. I don't like it, so I take it out, the water is pretty clean. Uh, it's boiling, so I'm gonna cover it for 10, 15 minutes. Ahora que estáis viendo el agua, ya yo le he sacado todo lo que subió 
la superficie del agua, se la saque todo, toda esta cosita se la saque y el agua está limpia. Ahora lo va a tapar por 10-15 minutos. A fuego mediano. Uh, so now I'm covering, I put it on medium heat, 10-15 minutes. All right, it's been less than for five more minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, Sometimes the water comes up too high, so you have to take the top off and just leave it open like this. Uh, I did that most of the time, but uh, it's been 20 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna take the fish out. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn the oven off and I'm gonna take the fish out. Hirviendo por 20 minutos. Voy a sacar los pescados, los pescados. Uh, once I take this out, I'm gonna strain it. I'm gonna strain the water. I don't want any bones in there. I don't, I don't want to be drinking soup and then swallow a bone. As you can see, this has a lot of meat. Después que saque el pescado, voy a voy a colarlo para sacarle todos los huesos. So this is the fish, this is what I have left. I'm going to take the meat out of this fish, which I'm going to add later on to the broth. This is what you have left. This is chicken stock, I mean chicken, fish stock. Okay, now I'm going to strain all the, all the uh, chicken stock. There it goes again with chicken. I don't know what's going on with the chicken, but I'm straining all the uh, fish stock. Make sure there's no bone from there. I'm gonna add the vegetable. So. Once I do that, this is what I'm left with. This is the, uh, the chicken broth. <laughs> there we go again, chicken. Fish broth, fish stock. As you can see, nice looking, tasty. I mean, I can smell it right now. It smells like fish stock. Really, really good. All right, so this is the remainder of the fish that I boil. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna let it cool off a little bit, and then I'm gonna take all the meat off the bones. Then this is the meat that I'm gonna use for the fish soup. So once I remove all the bones, I'm gonna add the meat back to the soup. And I'm going to add three potatoes. I'm gonna peel these and I'm gonna cut them in, in quarters. Same thing with this, this is yuca cassava. I like to buy the frozen one. For me, it's better than the uh, fresh one. Sometimes the fresh one, you buy them, they, they're hard. They're not soft. This ones are really good. They're frozen uh, cassava. So I'm adding two pieces. I'm adding some corn. I'm gonna cut them in uh, one inch. Uh, pieces of one inch. Uh, I'm also going to add cilantro at the end. I'm going to add some cumin. Uh, this is a very strong uh, seasoning, so you, you got to be careful with this. I'm going to add a little bit, like a pinch or two pinches, not much. And then I added a little bit of this at the beginning. I'm going to add some more to my taste. And there's some other ingredients that I'm going to add, and I'll show you uh, later when I'm about to add it. So aquí tengo la Maíz, yuca, papa, voy a pelarlo, voy a cortarlo en pedacitos, voy a usar dos pedazos de esta. Esta es la yuca congelada que me gusta más que la fresca. La fresca a veces sale dura. Voy a usar comino y voy a ponerle más adobo y otros ingredientes más que lo voy a hacer en un poquito. El pescado le voy a sacar la carne de los huesos y esa carne se la voy a añadir al, al, al caldo. All right, now that I'm done removing the meat from the uh, bones, this is what I'm left. There's a lot of meat right there. And then the bones give the uh, fish stock a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna put this at the end, not now. I have the uh, yuca, the cassava here. Uh, I have two pieces, big pieces, I'm gonna add that right now. The three potatoes, I cut them in chunks. 
the uh, corn, the uh, cilantro goes at the end, and I'll show you. Uh, then I have lemon, I like, my, I like to put lemon in my soup, uh, or else. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm going to add to the fish stock, I'm going to add this ingredient right here. It's called recaito. This has green peppers, onion, garlic, pepper, salt. This gives a lot of flavors. I'm going to put like maybe two tablespoons or so. Then I'm going to put some garlic paste and a pinch or two of cumin. And again, I'm going to put some adobo. This has salt, some ingredients as it gives you flavor. It's up to you. Know, it's up to you. Uh, you taste the, the fish stock and if it feels good, then that's it. You don't put no more. All right, so I'm adding some of this. I edit it a little bit. Um, I put a little bit at the beginning, but remember this has salt. You gotta stir it and then taste it. That's all I'm putting. I'm putting a, a pinch or two of cumin, just slightly. Remember this is strong, cumin is strong. I'm gonna stir it. And then I'm gonna taste to see if it has enough flavor. See if I need to put more adobo. Now the spoon's gonna be hot. Okay, I just need to add a little bit more. You don't want to make it salty, but I just need a little bit more. That's it. And I'm gonna add the garlic paste. I mean, if you have garlic, you can add garlic. This is just more convenient for me. I don't have to uh, mince the garlic. I mean, if you have garlic, you can use fresh garlic, which I think is better, but this is very convenient. This is garlic paste. Uh, I use it a lot. And now the uh, recaito. I'm gonna put like about two tablespoons Eh, there's not much left here, so I'm gonna put the rest. Since can I get the rest with the spoon? I'm just gonna add some of the stock in here. Just to get everything. There it goes. And now that everything is incorporated in there, I'm gonna add the uh, potatoes, the yucca, and the corn, and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Here's the yucca, potatoes, and the corn. This is all I put. I don't, I don't like to make it crowded with uh, too much vegetable. That's how I like it simple. And I like a lot of fish. So, me gusta mucho el caldo, eché maíz, yuca, papa, lo voy a cocinar por 20 minutos. Me eché ajo en crema porque no tengo ajo, no. ojos de ajo, de, de ajo. Eché adobo, comino y recaíto. Se cocina por 20 minutos. Medium heat. Then at the end, I will add the fish. If you add the fish now, it'll, it'll get overcooked too soft. I don't like it, so I'll add it at the end. 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes has gone by. Uh, it's still boiling, it's done. I'm just gonna add the meat now. And just cook it for like another minute or two. There you go, I'm just gonna boil, let it boil, cook for another minute or two, and it's done. The potatoes are already cooked, corn, the yuca. Get that todo hecho, la caucha el pescado, por uno o dos minutos más. Alright, now that this 
the, the fish is all the soup is almost done i'm adding the uh, cilantro this is the last thing i add and this gives it a lot a lot of flavor you can never go wrong with how much cilantro you add This, this is the end result, so I'm going to serve. Okay, this is the end result of the soup. Um, I put a, li a little piece of avocado uh, on top of the soup and I made some rice. As you can see, you know, it's good to eat it with avocado. You can cut the avocado into pieces and there it goes. That's the end result. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste the soup. It looks good, it smells good. Wish you were here so you can try it too, but you gotta make it to find out how good it is. Mmm, yes. But I like mine with lemon. So I'm gonna add lemon. And hot sauce. Scotch bonnet, strong. Good to go. And then a little bit of rice, the avocado. Mm, very good hope you try hope you like the video enjoy it subscribe if you haven't subscribed i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm going to upload more cooking videos so i hope you enjoy it see you next video